আজ তোমরা তোমাদের ট্রেনিং শেষ করলা এক পর্যায় শেষ আর এক পর্যায় শুরু এবং এ পর্যায়ের দায়িত্ব অনেক বেশি আজ তোমরা ট্রেনিং সমাপ্ত করে সামরিক বাহিনীর কর্মচারী হতে চলেছ জাতির উপর তোমার দায়িত্ব জনগণের উপর তোমার দায়িত্ব দেশের উপর তোমার দায়িত্ব এবং যে সমস্ত সৈনিকদের তোমরা আদেশ উপদেশ দেওয়ার কাজ করবা তাদের উপর দায়িত্ব তোমার কমান্ডার উপর তোমার দায়িত্ব তোমার নিজের নিজের উপর তোমার দায়িত্ব তোমাদের দায়িত্ব জ্ঞান থাকা প্রয়োজন Inter Services Selection Board ISSB is a unique national organization of Bangladesh. The mission of ISSB is to select potential officers of the armed forces of Bangladesh. ISSB possesses a group of highly qualified professional and quality officers where everyone works independently free from any kind of prejudice, interference or pressure. As regards to selection ISSB follows a tri-dimensional assessment system. These dimensions are environmental dimension, physical dimension and psychological dimension. Here, the tri-dimensional assessment system doesn't only provide sufficient scope to observe a candidate in diverse test condition, but also ensure unbiased judgment, efficiency, suitability and the leadership of individual replace the old requirement of blue blood. ISSB adopted the tri-dimension selection system from the British Army. Army Selection Board ASB was established in mid-1974 to select Army candidates. In July 1976, basing on the requirement of three services, ASB was recognized and renamed as Inter-Services Selection Board ISSB with the task of selecting officers for all the three services. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear aspirant candidates, let me have the opportunity to inform you that Inter-Services Selection Board, which is more popularly known as ISSB, is the premier selector of leaders for the armed forces of Bangladesh. The objective of ISSB is to select potential leaders, that is commissioned officers for the armed forces, from those who possess requisite physical mental, moral, educational, social, and dynamic qualities. We search for candidates who would place service before self, willing to make supreme sacrifice for the cause of the nation. Candidates who are coming for tests at ICB should remember that military is not a job per se, rather a complete, dignified way of life. Service provides full opportunity to make sacrifice for the nation. Please note that a green card from ISSB is not a low-hanging fruit which can just be plucked while passing by. It has to be patient and warrants long-term physical and mental preparation. It is only you and your performance that counts at ISSB. The candidate has to undergo few steps to be selected in Bangladesh Armed Forces. Step 1. General Qualification and Requirements Candidates should look for the circular advertisement in national dailies for obtaining information regarding preliminary viva, medical and written test. Before you apply, at first, please do check your qualifications and requirements. Step 2. If you are eligible, then fill up the application form following the website given on the screen and select your page of Preliminary Viva as per your convenience. Step 3. Preliminary Viva and Medical. In preliminary viva, you are likely to be learned about yourself, general knowledge, skill language, etc.
In medical examination, your height, width, eyesight and basic health state will be examined. Step 4. Written test. Preliminary and viva qualified candidates will be informed on the spot to appear for written test as per the date given on national dailies. For obtaining good result in written test, candidates are advised to study general math, current affairs, basic skill in English, etc. The result of your written test will be published in national dailies. Step 5. Inter Services Selection Board After you received the result of written test, the ICCB authority will send you a SMS with record information. You need to fill up online biodata form by visiting website shown to the screen. After you send your biodata, shortly you will receive another SMS mentioning the date and time of your arrival to the ICCB. You should print the call up letter from the website and bring them in the ICCB. The candidates are advised to report to ICSB in time. Late candidates are never allowed to enter for the ICSB test. The selection process of ISSB particularly focuses on the personality quality of the candidates. Here in ISSB, three dimensional that is physical, psychological, and grooming or environmental aspects are applied to test the candidates. Dear candidates, the first test that you will appear in ICSB is intelligence test. So you can consider this test as your first challenge in ICSB. So this test is very important for you because this is the part of the screening. So right at this moment, I am standing in front of the testing hall where your intelligence test will be conducted. So let's have a look inside the testing hall. You can see the candidates are appearing the intelligence test in the testing hall. Basically, the test is very interesting and simple. You will find a conducting officer who will explain in detail about the intelligence test. Gentlemen, good morning. How are you all? The intelligence test is divided into two phases progressive matrices and verbal intelligence test. The basic differences between these two sets are in progressive matrices you will get the problems in diagram form. On the other hand in verbal intelligence test items will be given in writings. ISSB has introduced computer aided intelligence test and comprehensive cognitive test to judge overall mental uptake of the candidates. In this regard, tests will be conducted through paper and pencil and also in computer. So it will be helpful if you have very basic knowledge about computer, especially how to use keyboard and mouse. Now candidates, how to perform well in intelligence tests? So all in a sudden, you cannot change your intelligence. 
but if you practice different types of intelligence tests which are available in the internet or in different books that will help you to do good in the intelligence test. The second test that will appear in ISSB is picture perception and discussion test or you can say PPDT. The candidates who will qualify intelligence test they will sit for PPDT. This test is also very important for you because this test is also a part of screening. PPDT is divided into two parts, writing part and discussion part. First of all, you will be given a blurred or hazy picture. Picture will be projected for 30 seconds of time. During the projection, you will have to identify the characters and also you will have to develop a story around the picture. You will get around 5 minutes time to write down about characters and the story. In the second part, you have to discuss your perception and story in a group. In the discussion, you have to put forward your logic in favor of your story and your perception. Now, how to be prepared for PPDT? You should practice your writing ability. Ability to write something from any given situation. Also, you should practice the public speaking. You should be able to tell what you are thinking. It's not required to impress the selection board. Rather, write or tell what you are really thinking. Candidates who will qualify the intelligence test will appear the personality test. In ISSB, projective techniques and psychometrics are used to find out the personality pattern of the individual. The first test of the personality test series is thematic apperception test or writing story from projective picture. In this test, four pictures will be displayed. Candidate will imagine and develop a story around the projected picture. This is a test of imagination and logical thinking. Story writing from beginning lines is the second test that the candidate will appear. Candidate will be provided with the beginning or opening sentence of each story. This is again a test of imagination and cognitive abilities. The third test of the personality test series is known as the word association test or sentence construction test. In this test, candidate will be provided with 80 words. Candidates have to write down a grammatically well-framed, constructive and logical sentence against each word. The fourth test is known as the sentence completion test. Here, the candidates are going to get few incomplete sentences in English and in Bangla, which they have to complete. The last part of the personality test is the self-description test, which means candidates have to describe about themselves. The candidates will describe about themselves from different points of view. Beside the above mentioned test, the candidate will have to write down two of the memorable incidents of their life. Candidates will also have to fill up a comprehensive form which is known as the life events. Dear candidates, you have heard the detailed instructions. Put up your sincere and best effort. And remember, there is no right or wrong answers in personality test. So, be yourself. Project your immediate and true feelings. Be imaginative as much as you can. And write in a simple and clear language. Not required to take previous preparation for the personality test. So, good luck. Good morning, human. 
Welcome to Group Testing Ground. This is going to be your second day in the ISO's beta. Here, performance and behavioral pattern is evaluated through various tests of physical dimension. In the very morning, you will meet your respective group testing officer, in short we call GTO, who will brief you about some rules and regulations which are to be followed in the group testing ground. Before you participate in any particular task, GTO will brief you in details about that test. Gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to the group testing ground. Here, you will need to appear total 8 tests over a span of 2 days, which start with group discussion, progressive group task, half group task, extempore speech, physical ability test, planning exercise, command task, and mutual assessment. Let's have a better look about each test. The first task of GTO's test begins with group discussion. Here, two sets of discussions take place. One in Bangla and other is in English. Generally, the topics for discussions are on contemporary issues or on current affairs, especially on social issues. Each of the discussion lasts for 20 to 25 minutes. Each candidate is expected to participate in the discussion and remember the discussion is made to exchange thoughts, ideas, views and suggestions. Here, you are always welcome to speak for or against the motion. It is not a one-way traffic actually. Progressive group task is the second test in the GTO's battery. It has four stages for males and three stages for females respectively, which you have to negotiate one by one. You will be given with a heavy load and some helping materials, that is rope, plank, etc. to work in this event. Within 40 minutes time, you will need to complete the whole task. Rules and regulations will be explained to you just before the test. As the time given to complete the task is very limited, so you will have to work quite fast putting your best efforts. After progressive group task, you will appear the half group task. This task is similar to progressive group task. It is conducted over one stage and in a smaller group. On completion of half group task, your next test will be extemporary speech. Each of you will take part in this test in turn. You will be provided with a cheat containing two topics where you can choose one and deliver in front of your group mates on your chosen topic for about 3 minutes in English. You will also be allowed 3 minutes time to prepare for your speech. The last test of the second day is the physical ability test. The PAT is concentrated mainly upon your essential aspects of stamina, strength, neuromuscular coordination, balance and courage. You will need to appear 7 items in this test within 3 minutes 30 seconds. For the female candidates, it is 4 minutes 30 seconds. If you can perform all the items in time, then you will be allowed to take bonus marks on selected items. This completes the set of GTO's task on second day. Some of you will have your deputy prisoner's interview after you go back to your dormitory. Dear candidates, many of you might be interested to know about the interview taken by the Deputy President in ISSB. Some of you might have some speculations or misconceptions regarding the interview due to various coachings and different opinions from different personnel. For them, let me give some tips. In ISSB's interview is a kind of selection interview where the Deputy President wants to find out whether a candidate should possess the requisite qualities to become an officer in Bangladesh Armed Forces and whether he can be selected for the training in the training institution. He wants to know about yourself, your family background, your educational attainments, your skills and knowledge on different subjects, your hobbies, interests, friends, family, relatives and also your achievement, strength, weakness and so on. You really don't need to take any preparation, rather you should be very free and frank to discuss all these things with the Deputy President. Avoid guarded response and be open in expressing yourself. Remember one thing, you should exactly represent yourself what you are and definitely you will have success. Welcome to the group testing ground once again on the third day. The rest of the GTO's test is conducted on this day. Tests begin with planning exercise. It is conducted in two phases. 
written part and discussion part. Here you will be narrated with some situations in the form of a story with a sketch. You will need to find out the priority task and formulate a practical solution. You will write down your individual solution on a piece of paper within given time. Thereafter, you will discuss among yourselves and decide the tasks you are to perform as per priority and your probable plan to address the situations. Finally, after coming to a common platform, you will choose one of your frame to represent your group and give the group solutions. After completion of planning exercise, GTO briefs the whole group about the do's and don'ts of the common task. Each member of the group gets an opportunity to become commander one by one. As commander, you will be responsible to plan and execute the task all by your direction. GTO's last test is the mutual assessment. In this test, you will assess every member of the group based on your own observation. Finally, before leaving the testing ground, GTO will highlight some of the salient aspects of GTO's test. Dear candidates, now I shall give you a few tips for the GTO ground. You should physically and mentally robust while taking physical challenges in group testing ground. You should project enthusiasm, interest and should be able to create positive impact onto the group by demonstrating your pleasant personality and ready intelligence. You should carefully listen and abide by all the instructions of group testing officer. You should have logical and analytical mind. Finally, you should be friendly, warm, adaptable, tactful, disciplined and highly compassionate to others in the group. ISSB utilizes first three days for testing a candidate from three different perspectives independently. The individual assessment finally culminates on the fourth day in the board conference. The board conference is an important event of ISSB where all three assessors sit down with their individual assessment findings. During this conference, every candidate is separately discussed based on their previous three days individual performance. Discussion in the board conference continues for a candidate until all three assessors are finally convinced about their decision. The board conference terminates when the results of all candidates are finally confirmed. Congratulations, I has become After four days of testing, the candidates are given results in different forms, like green card, yellow card, and red card. Green card means the candidate is recommended. Yellow card means the candidate has some shortcomings in physical ground which he has to overcome with the time given by the ISSB to be finally recommended. Red card means the candidate is not recommended this time. However, they may try for next time after overcome their shortcomings. Candidate please note that ISSB follows standard oriented selection system. That means number of selection does not depend on vacancies. Rather, it depends on performance of the candidates. Green card from ISSB does not give you guarantee for training in academy. After you receive the green card, you have to undergo detailed medical examination for final approval. However, final selection is made in the respective service headquarters. Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations for getting a green card from ISCB. You have earned the golden opportunity to serve as a leader in the acclaimed, respected and dignified military service. You have earned it by dint of your own quality only. Wish you a successful training in the respective academy and a commission one day. I would love to see you as a commission officer and serve together. Take my congratulations for that day. 
Remain grateful to your parents and ever grateful to Almighty. Do convey our regards and felicitations to your parents too. Thank you very much.